Yes! <laughs> First of all, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. And this is another edition of J Dog Sports, where we talk about everything related to sports. In this segment, this episode of J Dog Sports, Tommy Fury, the man on the left, a professional fighter in the cruiserweight division, has defeated Jake Paul and hopefully has finally ended the Fake Paul Express. That's what I call it, the Fake Paul Express. Fake Paul, he thinks that he can just fake the funk, come in, pretend that he's a professional boxer, fight a bunch of nobodies and washed up uh, um, MMA fighters with no boxing skills and try to be relevant in the sport of boxing, try to be the next... Uh, American face when he will never be the American face because we already have plenty of fighters, plenty of champion fighters that are the American face of boxing. But Fake Paul wanted to try to get ranked. Fake Paul was trying to fake the funk and now he ended up having to face an actual real legit fighter a actual legit boxer and Tommy Fury, even though he's not among the strongest of the legit boxers. But this shows you that if even someone with a skill level of a Tommy Fury was able to beat a fake Paul, then that means fake Paul should not be evolved in the sport of boxing, at least in the condition that fake Paul is in. I'm looking at all these. Here's him getting punched. On his right cheek, on his backside, near his backside, in the nose. <laughs> I'm just loving every minute because I cannot stand fake Paul or his moron brother. And, yep, here's another hit to the face. And here's Tommy Fury getting the victory. And look at, look at fake Paul. He look like he's digging up his nose. He's shocked and, and uh, devastated, and I can care less about how uh, fake Paul feels. He should feel this way. Yeah, he's probably backstage, was backstage crying like this, him and his brother. Yep, this is his brother, Logan Paul. They probably are crying a river, crying, hugging and crying in front of each other. Because of um, what this man, Tommy Fury, did to fake Paul. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the Fury family. Uh, cause especially because of what his brother, Tyson Fury, has done. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the Furies. But, um, Tommy Fury... I guess I have to say congratulations on your victory and for getting rid of uh, a problem child or just simply a problem in fake Paul. I really hope it was a black fighter that did it. I was, but we know Jake Paul is a bit of a coward. I was hoping that it was a black, I wished it was a black fighter that did it, but Anyway, right now, I just had to go for anyone that was going to get rid of that moron, fake Paul. He does not deserve to be in a boxing arena. He was getting on people's nerves. He was making a mockery of the sport. Which, by the way, I blame also the actual legit boxers. Because when you're not making the fights that we want. And I also blame the promoters. In this case, ESP um, top rank. Because they... I blame the TV net sport outlets like ESPN because when boxers are not making the fights we want, then just any moron like a fake Paul, like a pe fake Paul can just come in and make money off of it and not be a legit fighter um, and try to use it as part of his, you know, to boost his profile as a social media celebrity. That's what I call fake Paul, a social media celebrity, not a real fighter um, who just happened to get lucky. Well, it looks like his luck is about to run out. And 
maybe soon. His brother, his brother Logan Paul, also fought in fights and has won none of them. He draw tied with Floyd Mayer, even though Floyd Mayer should have beaten Logan Paul. And Logan Paul, Jake Paul's brother, has lost to a YouTuber from the UK by the name of KSI. It's a um a black British YouTuber. Um, I know they are crying a river right now. Logan Paul and Jake Paul. Yes, and I'm loving it. Yeah, the, the tears. Yes, I like to see the tears from these idiot brothers or idiot sisters. Because I cannot stand the Paul brothers, or should I say the Paul sisters. Now, hopefully, fake Paul will be humbled and stay away from the boxing arena and let the real fighters fight like they're supposed to. This should be that boxing ring should only be preserved for real fighters, not your fake Pauls. But that's all I have to say about this. I am laughing <laughs> at this moron right now, fake Paul. Uh, but I want to know what y'all think in the comment section. Write down in the comment section what y'all think. And make sure you hit that notification and that like button. And also subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And this is another edition of J-Dog Sports. Thank you for watching. And I hope to catch y'all in another video. Peace everyone.